So I recently held a PvP event live here on YouTube. But during the very first attempt, the tournament server got hit by a DDoS attack. To be more specific, it was a layer 7 DDoS attack, which you could also see as a massive bot attack. Now, a very common misperception is that a simple anti-bot plugin or enabling a whitelist will prevent attacks like this altogether. And that is just not the case. Because usually, with a layer 7 DDoS attack, the reason the server crashes is not because a lot of bots join all of a sudden, it is because so many connection requests are being made every single second that the complete network overloads. This is at least what happens to my server, with around 35k requests every single second. But then the question is of course, how do you prevent an attack like that? Well the answer to that is TCP Shield, a Minecraft proxy service that will hide the real IP address of your Minecraft server and let every single connection go through TCP Shield's servers. Now if you have absolutely no clue what all of that means, don't you worry, I'm gonna explain everything. Also, make sure to subscribe. You would help me out so much. TCP Shield is basically a proxy service. Instead of a player connecting straight to your Minecraft server, they will first connect to the servers of TCP Shield. TCP Shield will check the connection, see if it is actually legitimate, and only after that, they will send the player from their servers to your Minecraft server. So here you can see some information on what they do exactly, but this is what most people will probably use it for. Layer 7 filtering. Whether you are victim of a bot attack, floods, or fake session attacks, our advanced verification engine blocks even the most complex attack vectors. Now I can actually confirm that this works. During the second attempt of the PvP tournament, we were actually attacked again, about one hour into the stream, and nobody even noticed, because TCP Shield handled it like a champ. So how do you set it up? How do you get it working? And what do you need? Well, TCP Shield has four different plans. One of them is free, and for most people, the free plan will be sufficient. Though, if you're hosting a big Minecraft server with 20, 30, or 40 players, then you might have to opt for one of their paid plans. Now besides choosing a plan, you will also need a domain. This is because we need to hide the real IP address of our Minecraft server behind a domain name. So as an example, in Minecraft somebody uses the IP play.kasasora.com, that IP address will lead to TCP Shield servers, they will verify the connection, make sure it's legitimate, and then if it is legitimate, TCP Shield will send the player over to the actual server, so the player can get on. Now setting all of this up might sound very complicated, but believe me, it is really easy. So after you've created a TCP Shield account and you're on your dashboard, you want to go to Overview. And this is where you want to create a network. A network is basically a Minecraft server. So you can just click on plus, fill in the name, and after that, there are only two more things we need to do. We need to connect our Minecraft server to TCP Shield, and we need to connect our domain name to TCP Shield. So first of all, we're going to click on Networks. And then over here, we're going to click on Backend. This is where you want to add your Minecraft server. So you're going to click on add set. And here you want to put in the IP of your server. So over here we got my Minecraft server, which is hosted at Alienhost. They're truly amazing. I've been hosting at them for a long while now. And if you want to check them out for yourself, I will leave a link to their website down below. And when you use code KASASORA at checkout, you can get a whole 20% off your order while supporting me along the way. But over here, you should see an IP address. Now, in my case, you can see the real IP is hidden behind a domain. But with a simple IP pinger, we can just ping IP4 and there we go. That's what I needed. So back on TCP Shield, you want to paste in the IP address. Don't forget your port. So for me, that's Colin25566. Also want to give it a small name. I'm going to call it Epic. <laughs> and then you just want to click on the save. And there we go. My Minecraft server has been added. Now what you want to do is click on domains. And this will bring you to the slightly more complicated, but relatively still easy part. Connecting your domain name. Now this will all be and look a little different depending on who is your domain name provider. For me, it is Cloudflare. Now, if your domain provider is also Cloudflare, you can just follow along with me. But what you want to do is copy whatever it says in this text box. Then you want to go to Cloudflare or whatever your domain name provider is. Click on add records. The record you want to add is a CNAME record. The name is going to be whatever subdomain you want. So this domain is casasura.net. If I type 
MC here. That would mean that mc.kazazora.net is the IP that players need to use to join my Minecraft server. If I type play here, then play.kazazora.net is whatever people need to type in. So just make a choice, whatever you find fun. I'm going to go for play. And then under here where it says target, you want to paste in whatever you just copied from the TCP Shield website. Then if you are on Cloudflare, you want to make sure that proxy status is disabled. Otherwise, it will not work. And then we're going to click on save. Now you want to go back to the TCP Shield website and step two is actually installing a plugin. So they have a plugin available for Bungie, Spigot and Velocity. A Spigot will also work for paper servers, purple servers or whatever other Spigot fork you're using. And if you're running a network, then the Bungie plugin will also work for waterfall networks. So TCP Shield is pretty much compatible with anything. But I'm going to install it on a singular Minecraft server. So I'm going to go for the Spigot one. That will bring me to this GitHub page. And over here, we can just download the newest version. And then you want to drag it into the plugins folder of your Minecraft server. And after doing that, there's only a single step left. And that is actually adding your domain. So we're going to click on plus add domain. And here you want to type in your entire domain name. So for me, that's going to be play.kasaisura.net. Now, if you've done everything right, it should say domain verified over here. Now, if you did something wrong along the way, for example, not disabling the Cloudflare proxy, then it will give an error over here. It could also be that your domain provider just takes a little longer to update everything. So if you 100% know you've done everything right and it still can't verify, just wait for an hour and it could work after that. But for me, it works right away. So that's perfect. Then over here where it says back and set, I'm going to select my server. So epic. And then I'm going to click on add. And there we go. There it is. Play.kasasura.net. And when now in Minecraft, we click on add server and we type in play dot kasaisura.net you will see that it connects to a minecraft server and when we double click to join hey there we go we're on that's how easy it can be now you can see some activity happen on tcp shield 2 so for example now it will say one player and over here at your dashboard you will see all sorts of information like the bytes you've used the premium bytes how much they're gonna charge you and which plan you're on now do keep in mind that you have a full terabyte of monthly bandwidth available for free, which is a lot. But if you have a Minecraft server that averages around 50 players, then you might want to consider upgrading to a higher plan. Because as soon as you reach your monthly bandwidth limit, players will be unable to join your server. And that is, of course, not something that you want. And that is going to be everything for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully, I was able to help you out. If I did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. You actually would. Also, so a huge massive thank you to my channel members for the incredible support thank you guys so much and then i will see you in the next one uh, bye bye